Hello YouTube and welcome back to the Loose Transistor channel. Today on the channel I have something really cool that my friend Norm at Beaver FPV just sent me. So make sure you guys go and check out beaverfpv.com after this video because these guys are awesome and they have great stuff for great prices. So anyway, what did Norm send me today? You might be asking yourself, this. This is the Flying Lemon uh, Kiwi F4. So it's a full F4 flight controller with a PDB and everything. And this thing is pretty freaking cool. So let me just get a better camera angle for you guys here so you can see a little bit closely and we'll go over some of the specs of this board. Okay guys, so here we have the uh, flight controller, the Kiwi F4 flight controller. Looks pretty damn nice. Pretty nice little board right here. Um, and we also have the PDB. Now this is pretty interesting. Uh, I really like the Omnibus F3 and the way that the PDB pairs with the flight controller but it's always been a bit of a peeve for me that the two made up and then you have to solder the pins and then you're pretty much stuck with them. This time they went ahead and they actually uh, put a pin header right there and they put a set of pins right here and these are gonna transmit your uh, ESC's signals and grounds back and forth to the FC and the two mate perfectly. So when you get them both together like that and you slot them together, boom, just like that. And look how short that stack is, guys. Super tiny stack. So you basically just put your wires in there for the battery and the ESCs and uh, plug the FC on top and you're pretty much good to go. You just have to wire up the rest of the video and so on. But uh, this is a new feature. This is gonna be a very short stack. And I have decided that I am gonna actually use this FC on the Hive. So this video is actually a bit of a little uh, update on the Hive build, which I haven't quite started yet. And I will have the, the frame fitting and build for you guys this week, I promise. But uh, I'm gonna be changing the board and I'm gonna be going into more detail on the board at that video as well but some of the features that this board has it's a, an arm 2 SEM F4 SEM32 F4 flight controller so this thing will run beta flight and race flight no problem um, <clears throat> It has a 12 volt and a 5 volt back on the flight controller so you can feed your camera and your uh, VTX from the same board. Um, what else? Uh, OSD is built in and it's beta flight and it's awesome and guys that's the way to go. Uh, if you're still messing around with MWOSD and FTDI tools, man I cannot recommend this enough. Get yourself a flight controller with OSD built in and then you all you have to do is plug in one USB, go to the beta flight tab and configure everything right there. Um, let's take a bit of a closer look here at the at the PDB. So the PDB has is pretty pretty much pretty bare bones. The only thing it has here is a current sensor. Uh, I heard is up to 160 amps, so you can easily run five or six S on this board. Uh, you have your battery plus and battery minus over here, so you plug this into your pigtail, and uh, then from there it's just feeding the ESCs. So there's uh, four pads right here for the ESCs, and the motor signals are in the center right here. So these are for your motor signal and ground both. So they finally included signal and ground, so you can make sure your cables are nicely twisted up and make sure you get rid of all those eddy currents and all that by using this uh, PDB. So I'm pretty impressed with the PDB. It's nice and light and uh, has just the features that you need and I think this is going to make for a much cleaner build than the current Omnibus F3. And now let's take a quick look at the flight controller. So we have the arm right there. I know for a fact that this one here uses the MPU 6, 6000, so not the 6500, the 6000. Um, <clears throat> that uh, that gyro has uh, less problems with vibrations and things like that and I've been running that on the Omnibus F3 for a while now and I run hard mounted motors and hard mounted FCs and I have really no problems with it, no strange or yacht twitch or anything like that. So I'm hoping that I'll get the same behavior out of this F4 because I do intend on hard mounting this one as well. Um, on the bottom side here on the back we have your uh, your VTX power and ground as well as your camera in and out so you can get your OSD that way and you can feed your VTX and your camera from this board alone without having to worry yourself with a Pololo or anything like that. Uh, it does support um, LED strips and all that good stuff. So it is a fully feature, full featured uh, flight controller in any, every way you can imagine. And if this is anything like the Omnibus F3, man, you're in for a treat if you get one of these. So I'm very excited that Norm at Beaver FPV decided to send me this because uh, this is gonna pair up awesome with the Hive. And if you are not familiar with the Hive build, uh, you can check on the, my channel. Um, it's one of the more recent build videos. I am gonna be using the the DYS X 
SD 30 amp ESCs D shot ready. And I know that the QEF4 is also D shot compatible, so this is going to be a sweet combo. Uh, and paired up with that, we have the Brother Hobby T2 motors, which are just insane from what I hear 2206, 2600 kV. So these things will murder my batteries and put a huge smile on my face all at the same time. So guys, that pretty much concludes the little update here. I just wanna let you guys know that the Kiwi F4 is available. Norm has them at Beaver FPV. This looks like a freaking amazing board. I cannot wait to put it together and review it for you guys. The first build that I'm gonna be doing with it is the Hyfe, and I'll be going over in a little bit more detail on the next video where I go over the frame build and the, the fitting of the frames as well. So make sure you subscribe to the channel because there's lots of great content coming up. Not only do I have this build coming up with the Hyfe, I will also be teaching you guys how I do my awesome edging. Yes, the secrets finally revealed how I do my carbon prep and how I make this awesome glossy edging right here uh, I'm just in the middle of shooting that for you guys as well. So as always, thanks for watching guys I really appreciate the support and I really appreciate all the subs and uh, if you guys need to talk to me or get a hold of me Just drop by the fpvchat.slack.com. I'm pretty much there all the time. So thanks for watching guys